This is a map of all the pipelines in the US. These 2.6 million miles of pipes transport oil, natural gas, and other fossil fuels, which supply about 65% of the energy the nation uses. But on May 7th, 2021, this one, the Colonial Pipeline, was forced to shut down. Hackers hit the system with a ransomware attack, and this was no small disruption. This 5,500 mile line transports 100 million gallons of gas daily from Texas to New Jersey. It accounts for 45% of the East Coast's fuel supplies. The following Wednesday, operations resumed after Colonial Pipeline reportedly paid off a nearly $5 million ransom. Although the issue was quickly resolved, this attack highlights an even bigger concern that experts have been warning at for years. The U.S.'s infrastructure is critically vulnerable to cyber attacks. Obviously, hackers have a lot to gain from disrupting the nation's energy infrastructure. But what makes it increasingly common is how susceptible a target it is. Here's why. The gas industry is vulnerable to terrorist attacks by nature. Miles of exposed or underground pipes containing highly flammable substances that the global economy relies on. And it's been targeted in the past. In 1997, Texas police caught wind of a Ku Klux Klan plan to bomb natural gas storage tanks at a processing plant. And in 2001, a man with a high-powered rifle forced a two-day shutdown of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. The U.S. government has been aware of this physical threat inherent to pipelines for decades. In response, they have passed legislation that mandated regular inspections, heightened security, implemented annual safety summaries, and stiffened penalties on those who commit attacks. But cybersecurity has not been a primary concern until recently. Today, several federal agencies play a role in pipeline security, but the Transportation Security Administration is primarily responsible for oversight. However, according to a 2019 report by the Government Accountability Office, the TSA's pipeline security strategy was inadequate in areas related to cybersecurity. And the GAO isn't the only party that has noticed this. Hackers did too. In 2020, an IBM report on cybersecurity found that the energy industry was the third most targeted sector behind finance and manufacturing, up from ninth place in 2019. And many of these attacks rely on ransomware. They basically use this malicious software to encrypt data in a computer system to gain monetary benefit. Ransomware is an extremely effective tactic, especially when a company's IT systems are interconnected. For the majority of the last half century, American gas pipelines have been relying on a seriously outdated control system. And this control system has a tall order, controlling the movement of oil and gas from well to refinery to storage to distribution centers. So as pipeline operators look to perform more efficiently, they've digitized these systems. And during the 2020 pandemic, as companies went remote, the rate of digitization increased. These new digital ecosystems are often complex. If a hacker gains access to one point, they have the ability to knock out multiple systems. The real issue is uh, the adversary uh, typically come from, you know, from the external world through the IT infrastructure. From there, they can sort of laterally move into the OT operational network to gain uh, control into the operational network and create impacts and things like that. But some see the attack on the Colonial Pipeline from a different perspective. It was a much needed wake up call to improve the cybersecurity of this newly digitized energy infrastructure. It's the recommendation of the FBI uh, to not pay ransom in these cases, as, as you well know, uh, for good reason because it can incentivize uh, similar attacks. On May 12th, the Biden administration signed an executive order mandating cybersecurity improvements to major U.S. infrastructure. However, this order doesn't address private sectors like the Colonial Pipeline. It only covers public ones. And private companies are hesitant to allow government regulation. While Colonial chose to disclose the attack, many are unreported. Instead, companies pay the ransom and move on. And as this pattern continues, it can lead to more attacks. So in order to avoid these attacks in the first place, private companies can implement a few measures. This includes simple things like strengthening passwords, 
conducting emergency tests, and enabling multi-factor authentication. So the adversaries are getting more and more sophisticated, more and more advanced. Uh, one has to keep uh, investing in such kind of uh, initiatives because the adversaries are not going to sit idle. They are going to keep inventing and becoming more and more sophisticated. Uh, when it comes to cybersecurity, uh, it is not an end, it is a journey. What are your thoughts on the U.S.'s current cybersecurity measures? Were you affected by the Colonial Pipeline shutdown? Tell us in the comments below. And while you're at it, please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we post new videos.